Coming up on today's Midweek AFL Today show, a chat with Sydney Swans gun, my new best mate, James Rowbottom. He hated Alex. Hey, Alex, what's your favourite thing from today's show? Probably the little nugget of information that Rowbottom gave us about that lunch. I want to know what the boys ate, though. Uh, I reckon Palmers. <laughs> well, they'd probably call them Palmies. Yes. It's weird. Hey, Stats Boy, what are you up and about today for? Oh, she's all just being better than Nick Dacos. Ooh. Yeah, it checks out. Also, yeah. your Roo's got to win on the weekend. How good is that? Kind of weird. Either way, we're talking yeah, Nas. We've got Brownlow and Coleman updates. It's all coming at the Wazoo in today's AFL Today. Check it out right now. The new sticker. The new sticker for Wednesdays is the most fun. Because it's always fun, yeah. We got someone sacked! Yeah! It's I mean, oh. we didn't. No, we didn't. His listen. players basically did. Yes. Uh, so Adam Simpson, noted actual, you know, premiership winning coach, has been fired. Well, North Legend. We've decided to part ways. About a week ago, it did not seem like he was deciding to part ways. And here he is, parting ways. It's Smithers with the gun behind his back saying, it's mutual. Say it's no, mutual. They said in the, Tell in the, everyone it's mutual. They came out this morning that he didn't want to go. They said, yeah, you're gone. He's That's, like, can you please give me to the end of my contract? And they're like, no, oh, mate. Sorry, you're out. It's a tough one. So you saw the back, or well, the front page, I think, of the West Australian, right? Of yep. the win, yeah. loss, 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 loss. Just a re- and saying, see you, Simo, or whatever it is, right? This is one of the grossest parts of the AFL ecosystem, right? right? When a coach gets sacked, I think this is quite abhorrent for the simple fact that he is a premiership coach. Yeah. One of three in West Coast history. Yeah. Exactly. So it should be celebrated. So for the amount of time and effort that he's put into this gig and for the fact that he took them to the ultimate prize, deserves a lot more respect. Surely it's like, sorry to see you go, but thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Yeah. You like, just, you just it's, gotta, you gotta go full, with, go with, full Fallout Boy. Thanks for the yeah. memories. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. Love that. That's all you're gonna do. Just go full Fallout Boy. And it's weird that he was committed to the rebuild. Like, what do you expect yeah. from the team? Like, are you showing anything for moments there this season? They have shown a lot. They've shown more. We've talked about this list time and time and time again. There is nothing in the creamy middle. It is like I think they're recruiting old, yeah. It's old vets, mm. some of whom are very not good anymore, and a bunch of young kids, some of whom aren't that good anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What do you expect to Agreed. happen? So the fact that they've already got a couple of wins under the belt is pretty interesting this year. The biggest problem is obviously they've fallen off a cliff in the yeah. last like month and a half. So they've looked they've looked as bad as they did last year. Not getting beaten as badly, but it's just it. Going forward, you're just like this group. I think sucks. it's yeah. I think it's time for a change anyway. Like we, I don't know, a new coach might turn around some of those guys that no. go aren't that good. I but still I don't think that list is very good. This but is it the could... point. I think you give him to the end of the year anyway. Yeah, like, I, I agree don't with think that, there's yeah. much point behind sacking him around 17 no. and going. Yeah, look what we saw when we got belted at the MCG by Melbourne. That was the tipping point. Well, it yeah. makes no sense. It this was is all. Up. Yeah, this is all That's list weird. management problems, right? Not I agree. trading Andrew Gaff when you had the chance. Coaching is still on from other dudes. It goes back to the Tim Kelly trade. Sure. Yeah, where they put everything in. They Chips threw in everything at Tim was, Kelly. Yeah. And then they made the finals and then COVID hit. And then there was a halfway point of that first COVID year where they, well, they made the finals in that. In 2021, they were eight and five going into the bye. And since then, they're, they're eight from 60. Yep. Mm. Like, what happened in that bye? Oh, no. Jack Darling got really old. <laughs> Maybe they went to an Adelaide Crows training camp. I was about yeah. to say, Jack Darling was an anti vaxxer. He wasn't playing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Forgot about Might that. Might have been the problem. He and Liam Jones can start up their own team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, the point being, I think you look at those sort of big questions like Jack Darling and Co. That's the thing that's ha- hamstrung them the yeah. most. I think Jack Darling's been a shell of himself. Like He was Gaff the one been, making an effort in the forward line on Sunday, though. He was. He was but at okay, the same yeah. time, that pops up every so yeah. often. The rest of the time, he's been horrible this yeah. year. Yeah, yes. Like, no that, one could have done a better job than what Simpson had done in these 17 rounds so far this year. No one coming in at the start of this year would have been able to do a better job. He was basically a dead man walking all yep. season. It was just a matter of when they were going to pull the trigger. And I'm not, I'm not going to cry too yeah. much. Like, get your pay out. Yeah, he, he gets a lot of money to do nothing now. So cool. well, that's what I mean. Like, it's yeah. the greatest job in the world. We've talked about this on the NBA on NBA Australia time after time. My favorite job in the world would be to be sacked Detroit <laughs> Pistons coach. Five years, <laughs> which 60, anyone can do. Five years, sixty-four. I pay me eight million dollars right now to not yeah. coach the Detroit Pistons. I'll take that. That's, <laughs> that's right. Manchester United coach, pay up. Yeah, it's good. Chelsea I'll, coach. I'll go, I'd go there. Yeah. 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 So Adam Simpson, fair thee well, like it is interesting because they do throw up the simple idea of like he'd been there what eleven years. Yeah. Eleven years. Yep. And you look at Ken, uh, is he Knuff? It's been... Bevo. Well, Bevo actually, yeah, won a flag and has been there longer now. Simple idea, though, is like Adam Simpson has the flag. Ken hasn't made a grand final and is still there. At least that team's looking like they're pointing in the right direction now. Yeah, but it's always, be more always fun where you go, oh, well, this guy got sacked. 
And this guy's still hanging out. Because you'll never dare us to fire. Boo, they say. Ah, can you feel the culture there in Port Adelaide? <laughs> Everything is hunky dory all of a sudden again. I don't know. He's about definitely going to get fired after the yeah. season. Anyway, who Simo. goes next, Bevo or Ken? I uh, think Ken might be shuffled out the door this year if they don't make the grand final. Yeah, I think I'd, they're not going to oh, make I the don't grand exactly. final. So I don't I think, think either of them next. are going to go now. I reckon both of them could go. Maybe. If they miss the finals, the dogs, Bevo could be out the door too. If they miss the finals, I reckon Ken's gone too for Port. Interesting. Mm. Righto. Other news. Might have heard a little bit about this one, main, mainly because, like, I don't know, Alex has been whinging about it for the last 48 <laughs> hours straight. Uh, Heen Man. Heen Man. Ba, 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 ba. You're out a week. Ba, 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 ba. You need to get a better lawyer, son. Yeah, Just where's saying. the – you need the Italian uh, Carlton Mafia that's lawyers. The, yeah. That's, like, the first – apart from the Luke Parker one where they tried to get downgraded from six to four, that's the first one the Swans have gone to and lost in, like, three years. Yeah. I do like the Carlton one, though. It's like it would be a real shame if you didn't get Cripper off, wouldn't it? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> clink. Clink. <laughs> yeah. um, they are appealing this again, though, yeah. the Swans. So get, he'll get off. I'm not, I would not be surprised if tomorrow when we're doing the Thursday night team show, Heaney is playing for the Swans. Yeah. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Being a North fan, yeah. if he doesn't play, we're going to win. So, yeah. Check Fair. It out. yeah. No, uh, that's, that's not true at all. Yeah. I'm not saying I'll be honest. I've actually had 20 bucks on North to win this weekend. Are you all right? $10 and the line's 50 points. Man, you could spend $20 on lots of much better things than yeah, that. Yeah, but it's, it's give doing me $20. It's exactly, yeah. <laughs> but it's doing, it's doing the gym. Charlie give Cameron's going to kick it back. 20 bucks. No, so, no, I've no. had 20 bucks on them to win. I've had 20 bucks at North with a 50 point head start. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's not going to happen. The thing is, they can sort of just switch in Callum Mills. Yeah, this one's literal, their best player comes back into the team. He's so important to the structure. It's crazy. If, if he was playing last week against St Kilda, I think the Swans would have been able to shut that game down and win it. Mm -hmm. He brings in a lot, lot of class, poise, and just, just a senior head. Well, if we had get a Callum Mills, we would have beaten St Kilda. The bottom four St Kilda. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's hard, for, it's hard imagine, the imagine the ladder, losing on the weekend, geez. lads. I haven't even. Yeah, but just hold on. Sixteenth, second. Nah, you're only as first. good as your last game. Exactly. Yeah, uh, and uh, too. <laughs> yeah I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see Callum Mills back because apparently his body was cooked halfway through the year. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Also, I'm just. We need more gingers in the team. Oh, uh, in the entire AFL. Like, yeah. it's all Aaron it. Francis yeah. has been good in the twos, apparently. Righto. Other news. Josh Carmichael's retired due to concussions. Oh. That's the fourth one this year. That this is... sucks. Yeah, fourth player due okay. to medical issues. It's been more than ever, which is really sad. I don't know. I'm just saying. Just We're probably eking towards a future where we go, you know, we should all be wearing Headgear. helmets. Simple no, but they that. don't. Right now, the helmets they have don't help. They've already. That's why people don't wear it. NFL, they NFL literally... helmets. Let's go, boys! Oh. Oh, Bang! They're bad as well. Just imagine Brandon Maynard to kill a guy. The AFL that's... helmets have been scientifically proven to not work. Oh. For concussion. That's why no one uses them. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now. Do it. <laughs>